Hello Clash back here with another Lineage 2 Revolution video. It's been a little while since we did a video, but I felt inspired after this little patch to talk about it. We've got some new stuff. We've got a new Queen Ant very hard. We've got some new costumes, new bundles that probably aren't really worth that much as usual. Um, a couple of events, Harold's Love Animals and another IML School. Um, consecutive check-in rewards. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, lots of stuff to get a lot of things for SR materials. Um for your UR, um, so that'll be cool. Let's check it out. So I'm not really into the costumes, uh, don't care much about that. Uh, I'm not gonna spend my blue gems on that, but you know, a lot of people enjoy it. Um, if you're not a whale clan, you're probably not taking out Queen Ant very hard anytime soon, but that's pretty cool if somebody in your clan does it, or your server's the first to get it. The main thing we wanna talk about today is this event, the two events. So go into the event tab, the first one here, Going to the traditional event, um, I've already done. This is the second IML school in a row. We just finished up the last one. Um, this one's all about cores and summoning stone. So you'll just want to go through the list here. Um, watch what you need to do. Make sure you do things in order. Collect your tickets in at the end. Um, there's a bless, some blessed gold selection boxes as well as an SR limit break stone. So you want to make sure you get this done. Let's jump over and look at the details of this. So you can see you'll have about two weeks to complete this event. Um, here's the rewards, 5,000 Adena, five Blessed Skull Selection Boxes, which is pretty nice, and a Limit Break Stone. Um, so you can see here's what you have to do. I've already done most of these for the C. They're pretty easy. Uh, acquire a few cores, do a Summoning Stone, register a few cores, go to Elite Dungeon, uh, crush a few cores up, right? get some Soul Powder. Um, it's pretty standard stuff. Um, just make sure you don't burn all your store, you know, stones so you have a couple to get into or you can use your clan mates um, you know, to get some of the stuff. Just make sure you work together, that you save some stuff. And then the one that you really want to look at here is that you need to complete a codex at any territory, the very last one, to get a selection box to finish this off. That's the one thing you got to make sure that you, you know, if you're close to finishing one, it might count it ahead of time. But just in case, maybe hold a few cores that you can complete that once you get to that SR level in a few days. So... Other than that, um, pretty easy stuff, pretty straightforward, um, and some pretty good uh, rewards. Harold's Love Event is the web event, also two weeks to do this. Um, basically, you get these points every day by doing these things, you know, doing your arena battles, clearing daily dungeon, temple guardian, rift, um, honor field, um, basically, and you can go down the path. We had a similar reward in the past. Um, and then each time you make a loop, you get these rewards. So to get to this event, go over to web event. It should load on your screen. I know a few people have had a little bit of issues with this. Uh, mine's been working fine. But basically, you every time you get 100 points, you can move a space on the board. I've chosen to go to the accessory or the Windowwood Manor one. Um, you get some S accessories, some R accessories. Now, they're both random boxes. They're not selection boxes like the previous web event that looked like this. But nonetheless, um, I kind of want to get ahead on the track um, and get uh, more of my jewelry limit broke, uh, as well as start saving some of these high-end pieces for UR accessories. So that's kind of the path that I'm going. Um, and then down at the end, you get the uh, Blessed Scrolls. And then every time you complete, you get an SR equipment box, which would be great for salvaging for UR. And then your two, five, and 10 times through, you're gonna get a bunch of UR boxes which are gonna be really helpful uh, for all your UR stuff. So that'll be really great. Looks like there's some recipes in there, um, a lot of scraps, uh, probably some rip recipes. So that'll be really good. Um, but kind of depending on what you want, I mean, if you're really behind on UR, you don't even have a UR weapon, maybe you want to do the weapon one. Um, but I'm probably going to do most accessory, maybe a little bit of armor. Uh, once you go down a path, you'll have to finish that path before you can switch over. Um, but that's going to be my main mode um, for that. Um, basically, based on my math, you need about 6,000 points. Um, to do 10 rounds in 14 days. So that basically means you need, you need, you know, 430, 450 points per day. Uh, you'll get basically 100 points if you do your five arenas. Uh, Daily Dungeon once is 140, two Temple Guardians. Um, 
is like 240. You do your temple rough two times, plus on a battlefield a couple times per day. It looks like if you just do everything every day, you should have enough points. You shouldn't need to do a lot of resetting to complete this event based on my quick math. Um, probably wouldn't kill you to do like one or two extra arenas and get an extra you know, 20 points for those 10, 20 gems. Uh, most of us are resetting daily dungeon for some of the stuff we really need anyways. Um, and obviously you get quite a few points for resetting your temple guardian. You know, that's probably the biggest bang for your buck for a hundred gems. So if you fall behind or you miss some days, that's probably the way to catch up is resetting your temple guardian. And then make sure you hit your honorable battlefields. And every time that comes up, make sure you're getting in your, you know, your, at least your four minimum battles to get those 240. Cause that's really going <laughs> to give you the points you need. If you miss out on that three V three, you're going to have to reset a lot of this other stuff to get this completed. And you're not going to want to miss out on 30 high grade UR material boxes, um, by not completing this event. So that's the events in a nutshell. Um, hope that's useful. You guys gives you a quick synopsis. You know, you know what you do. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and that you make the most of it and get your UR crafted up. And thanks for tuning in.